Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Rating My Followers Saves. And as you know, we rate followers saves on the originality of the save, the tactics, the staff, the transfers and the achievements in the save. All out of five star. So that's the rating system. And I've got three saves on this video that are absolutely class sent in by my followers. Big shout out to you guys for sending it in. If you don't already like this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna be part of this series, just message me in the comments below and I will get around to telling you how to do this. Now let's get into the first save of this save review. The first save is an excellent save. It is Waterford FC in the Irish Premier League and it is also a build a nation save. So what my follower Sean is doing here, he's trying to make the Irish League the best league in the world, which I think is absolutely class. I mean, the originality of this save, I've always wanted to do an Ireland build a nation. It is on my bucket lists of saves to do. And I think this is a great, great save. Ireland have got some great players and they're going to be big in football again. So I'm going to give this, for the originality of this save, a standard 4.3. His staff is absolutely incredible for the Irish League as well. He's got all of his coaching staff filled out. He's got all of his medical staff filled out. It's a little bit disappointing not to see all of those scout spots taken. I am a bit of a stickler for this, but he does have the best coaching, recruitment and medical team in the division. So hats off to him for doing that. But I would have given him a higher rating, but... Not all the slots are filled, so I'm going to have to give this a 4.1. For the tactics, he has got an asymmetrical tactic, which doesn't look like it is a downloaded one. It looks like it is a ready-made one that he's done himself, which is absolutely class. I love the fact that it's asymmetrical. I'm a big fan of asymmetrical tactics in FM24. They are just so OP now. And as you can see, he's got a decent tactic. Roaming playmakers, you don't see them very often, to be honest with you. And I know it works because he's won the league so so many times which you will see in the achievement section the only thing again i am a big stickler for this is have all three tactic slots filled out so the ai doesn't really get to know you make some small changes to your main tactic and maybe have a home and away tactic i know he probably doesn't need that in the league but again it's a little bit pedantic for me i, lo I love this tactic i feel like it works very well and it's in the Irish League, which is absolutely smashing. And he's in the Champions League as well, which is unbelievable for the Irish League. But on tactics alone, I'm going to have to give this a 3.9. Moving on to the transfers, as he is in 2030, there is a lot of transfers to go through. In the first season, a lot of loan signings, a lot of free signings. Absolutely smart thing to do in the Irish League and made 120k. So always great to make a profit. As we move on through, you've got players in for 475k and 325k out. So only around 150k money spent, which is, I mean, that's next to nothing. Probably big for Ireland, but as you can see, there's some, some decent players coming in on loan. He's obviously got some players in like Sam Curtis, who's the, his biggest, was his biggest signing at the season there. And then in 2025 season, another profit making season with 325k and 175k out. And then this is where the big season is. This is where the big money comes in. Two million pound out. He sold Bobby Clark to Nice for 1.3 million. Bobby Clark's a good player to have in the Irish League. A lot of profit been made on him. Again, another profit make it season. A big, big profit making season. The, the season after selling some good players for some good money, as you can see at the top here, which is absolutely class. And then not spending too much money on players either. I love that. That's great transfer business. Pure Harry Redknapp style. In the 2028 season, again, it's a big money season, but the big money has been sacrificed with player sales. Adrian Smith went to Arsenal. Alejandro went to Chelsea. Sold some players to the Middle East as well. Something you have to do on FM24 if you don't already. And then he's not gone out and splashed the cash. He's made some good investments here, as you can see. Players for a little less money from Eastern European clubs and smaller clubs around Europe. Quality transfer tactics there. 2029, another profit make it season as well. As he's selling... Uh, Players to big clubs like Celtic for £10 million. That's a big, huge signing out. And then bringing players in for a little bit more money than he did last season, again from smaller clubs around Europe, is very, very smart. And then in the 2030 season, the season that he's in now, he spent £5.5 .5 million, mainly on a player called Vajislav Vondra. And then he's got £14 million in the football club as well, which is absolutely class. Again, selling his players to bigger clubs in Europe. It's, it's a quality transfer, so I can't argue with that. And I just want to back it up by looking at the finances. £22 million in the bank in Ireland after that transfer activity is absolutely class. This is a definite 4.8 out of 5. The achievements of this save are very, very good. He's absolutely dominated Irish football, which I love to see. Winning the title from 2025 all the way up to 2029. Also, 2023, 
They won the league title. So it was his, they took over when they was in the first season in the Premier League, which I think is absolutely class. He's won the Irish Senior Cup in 2029 as well, which is I think is fair play to him. He's gone out. He's done really well. He's spent big money. He's got good players in the squad. He's got good achievements. He's had notable wins in the Champions League over teams like Lille as well. So this is progressing so well. I really love this save. I really love these achievements. And I'm going to give them a solid 4.3. That gives this save an overall rating of a 4.28, which is one of the highest ones I've given out so far. The only thing I would say is if he had more staff, that would have pumped him up the ratings a bit more. It's a little bit pedantic. Same with the tactics, but what a save and carry on, lad. Absolutely class. Next up is a Sunderland save from Jack. He's kindly sent this in. He is still in the infancy of his save, so I really do appreciate him sending it in. Only a couple of seasons of playing the save. But he's had a lot of potential and we will go through it. I love that he's being Sunderland. He's not picked Newcastle or Middlesbrough in the Northeast. I like Sunderland growing up. Kevin Phillips was an absolute legend. One of the only players, you know, to win the English Golden Boot and not really get started for England. So, I mean, what a player he was. Sunderland in real life have got some good young players as well. So the originality of this save is a championship side. It's Sunderland. I'm going to give it a solid 3.8. Checking out the staff. As I, as you always say, and I always say, staff are important in Football Manager. And it's a shame to see that the coaching staff, recruitment staff are not filled out to their best of ability. Not all the slots are filled and they're not the highest in the league. Now, I'm going to cut him some slack because he is Sunderland. He is only three seasons into the Premier League as well. And he's got to compete with teams like Man City, Arsenal, etc. So it is harder to get the best coaches in the league. So I'm going to judge it fairly on that. I feel like you should always have these slots filled out. It is pedantic, but I always say it. I'm going to give this a solid 3.7. Things we love to see in the tactics section. He has three systems that are all filled out. Look like they're for different things as well. You've got the positive system in the custom, an attacking system, and a more balanced system. So games where he's going to win attacking, positive when he's at home, and balanced when he's away is what I'm assuming the tactic is for. Little tweaks to the tactic as well, which I love to see. This is what you should be doing because the AI will try to work you out. And this is the best way of keeping the AI on their toes. And the AI is very strong in the Premier League. So this is absolutely lovely, lovely to see. I think this is class. I love a 4-2-3-1 tactic as well. Obviously, it's a very intense tactic as well. So I love that Gengen Press rock and roll football. I'm going to give this a solid 4.8. There was a lot of money spent in the first season for Sunderland, but he did get Rooney Bajji. What a player he is. I don't care if I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Rooney is an absolute beast. He is insane as a winger. One of the best wingers on the game. You can't ask for much more. That is a quality transfer. And Dimitros Liminos, because I'm doing a Greece save, get extra points for signing Greek players just because I'm feeling very, very generous today. But 12 million out, 450k in. Next season was an unbelievably big season. He had 87 million pounds worth of transfers leave the football club i mean there's some great ones there al hilal signing anthony patterson for 40 million pound who doesn't love selling players to the middle east i mean i do and he's spent 59 million that was a season he got promoted you do need to spend money when you're in the premier league to stay up and that's exactly what he did but some of the ones out were absolutely class especially the al hilal one i love that and in the next season there's a hell of money being spent 138 million pounds, 62 million pounds on Jonathan Rowe, a lot of money on Tommy Doyle as well. And Charles de Catalea looks like an absolute bargain at 13 million pounds. What a player he is for 13 million. 61 million pounds out. You know, in the Premier League, these sort of transfer windows are going to happen because you need to push on, you need to progress. So, fully respect that. In 26 27, another 141 million pounds out. A lot of money spent on Aaron Hickey. And Leonardo Morgan are good players, very good players. The Hickey money, that's a lot of money for Aaron Hickey, but he is a very, very good Premier League level, left or right back, in my opinion. And then £73 million pound out, selling more players to the Middle East. God bless the Middle East. They do buy some players, and they buy them for some hella, hella money as well. They've helped me out on my save. So I think overall, we'll take a look at the club's finances. £19 million pound in the bank in the Premier League whilst you're pushing to try and stay up. It's fairly good, I have to say. I'm going to give it a four because he's made some good signings like Barge G and Liminos. I like Liminos. He's not the best player, but he's Greek. So, yeah, we're going to give that a solid four out of five. And that brings it up to a rating of 4.1 overall. I think that's absolutely class for this Sunderland save. It's in its infancy. There's still a long way to go in it. I'm sure he's playing it night and day. And he's going to take all the achievements. He's going to win Champions League. He's going to win Premier League at some point. And all I'm going to say is just fill out those staff members. And it could have been so much more higher. Last but by no means least on this episode is a Toulouse save from Gary. Gary 
really really great guy provided a lot of content for me last year wonder kid saves that he did an fm 23 so big up to him man and i appreciate you sending it in again it's absolutely class to lose is a quality save i mean you don't see many people being to lose especially if you're going to see league earn saves you normally see marseille leon monaco those sort of teams there so to pick to lose is an absolute w i love their kit They've got wrestlers in goal, which is, you know, probably one of the reasons maybe why Gary picked them. I am just speculating at this point. But I think for originality of this save, I'm going to give it a solid 4.2. I'm sure Gary knows the drill by now, but he has got the best in the league for coaching, recruitment, and part of the medical staff. Just those one low manager and one technical director missing, which, you know me, I am pedantic about these things and not having the best medical staff in the league well we can let that off it's to lose you've got to compete with psg leon etc so for the same sort of reasons for sunderland it's very similar for toulouse in my opinion i love that he's got the best scouting and coaching team in the league and pretty much the best medical as well so for this reason but not all slots are filled up i'm going to give it a solid 4.5 all three tactical slots are filled up, which is absolutely class. One is the Murder Ball 2.0. Then it's got Volante 4.4.2 and a 4.3.3 as well. So three different systems. I love this 4.3.3 as well. Never seen one with two holding midfield players and a CM. You normally see it with two holding midfield players and a cam. So yeah, I love the originality of that one. And it's been working very well for him as we see when we go through the achievements on this save. I love that the tactic slots are filled out. You know that's a big dub for me. I would love to have seen a 4 2 3 1 because that's my preference style of system or something a little bit more asymmetrical. But I feel like this is a solid three tactics he's got in there. And given a successful cover in the rest of the video, I'm going to give this a solid 4.1 out of 5. He is only in 2025 in his save, so there isn't much transfer history to go through. But first season, 5.25 million pounds out. Gabriel Suazo gone to Strasbourg. And then a couple other players out on the three. That was the biggest one. Moving into his first proper transfer window, 83 million pounds of talent in and 54 million pounds of talent out. Dalinga to Leeds, Sierra to Valencia, Le Havre have signed a few players. And he signed Odriago. I've definitely killed his name. Asan, the quality Shakhtar player. What a signing that is. Emmanuel van der Black, one of the players that doesn't get spoken about enough. It's very, very good. But one of my, my favorite signing here is Ladislav Kreski and get extra points for Samad Bazdar because he's on my Arisape. Love that. A big, big window. A lot of money spent, a lot of money out. And then the following season, he had to remake the money up. I would imagine it's 9 million on Sal Kamendi. He's good, good center back. And then sold 21 million pounds worth of talent. That left the club finances with 72 million pounds for Toulouse, which is massive money in Liga 1 for Toulouse. What an achievement that is. I'm going to give this a solid 3.9 out of 5. For achievements, it's still quite early on in the save, and I'm sure he will go on to win loads and loads of things. But for now, he's got them into the Champions League, and he's competing well in the Liga 1 Uber Eats, finishing third. So getting Champions League football with Toulouse is no mean feat. You've got teams like Lyon, Marseille, PSG, Monaco, Lens. Nice, all those teams to compete with there. So it's a very, very good achievement so far. And I'm sure he will go on to do big, big things with Toulouse in this save, as he normally does in all of his saves. But for now, I'm going to give him a 3.8 out of 5. Overall, that gives him a score of 4.1 out of 5, which is very, very respectable. Great save. And if you want to be part of this series, let me know. And I will we love to review your saves, your wonder kids, your tactics, anything you want me to do. And I will see you on the next video.